What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me, and let's get into it. All right, we're on Variety, and uh, they've got this uh, this article up about Paul Feig. Uh, and Paul Feig is an interesting case here because Paul Feig directed the 2016 Ghostbusters, the all-female Ghostbusters, but he also uh, directed... Uh, was it Bridesmaids, which I thought was hilarious. I thought Bridesmaids was, I've watched that movie multiple times. There's some scenes in it where I just busted out laughing. Uh, the bear sandwich thing. If you know about Bridesmaid and the bear sandwich, I always loved that was, that was the scene that I ran back multiple times, uh, with Melissa McCarthy and, uh, the guy that she was acting with was actually her husband. Well, he's still her husband. They've got what two kids together, I think. But yeah, it's it, she. She's been. She's had her husband in a few scenes. But they did this. They did the whole bear sandwich thing, and I thought that was screamingly funny. Anyway, let's actually get into it. Paul Feig said so many Trump supporters lashed out at female Ghostbusters. Then Trump mocked the the reboot, and everybody went effing cannibal. Paul Feig said in a new interview with The Guardian that a lot of the vitriol he faced online during the re release of his female Ghostbusters reboot in the summer of 2016 stemmed from supporters of Donald Trump, who infamously called out the reboot in a video post. The film starred Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones as the eponymous paranormal investigators. The political climate at, of the time was really weird with Hillary Clinton running for office in 2016, Feig said. There were a lot of dudes looking for a fight. When I was getting piled on on Twitter, I'd go back and see who they were. So many were Trump supporters. Then Trump came out against us. He was like, they're remaking Indiana Jones without Harrison Ford? You can't do that. And now they're making Ghostbusters with only women. What's going on? And got all upset. Now, okay, I actually remember the go they were going to make a uh, remake Indiana Jones. And uh, they were going to start completely from scratch. And uh, they were saying that Chris Pratt, uh, obviously from Guardians of the Galaxy, and what was he on Community? But I know him from uh, Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers movies and stuff. But they were going to cast Chris Pratt as a young Indiana Jones and just reboot everything. And uh, Chris Pratt was on board and I was really excited for that. So I was, I was actually, I was like, Oh, I like Chris Pratt. So him being in a, a young Indiana Jones, I thought that would have been cool. They probably could have had older Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford, you know, kind of, have like a flashback or something, you know, to kind of pass the torch. And I think that would have been cool, but I, yeah. So I, I do recall that at the time, but let's actually talk about the Ghostbusters uh, 2016 reboot, which I thought was very poor. Like I said, I really enjoyed Bridesmaids. I thought, um, I thought Ghostbusters wasn't very good. And uh, matter of fact, he, since he's promoting Jackpot, I actually pulled it up on Rotten Tomato. And uh, boom, let's actually see this. This is RottenTomato.com and Jackpot with Aquafina and John Cena, Paul Feig movie. What do you know? 31% from the, the actual movie reviewers, 52% Rotten from the audience scores are all those people that didn't like jackpot. Are they Trump supporters too? That's kind of funny to me. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So like I, because bridesmaids was so good, I was excited and I love Melissa McCarthy. Uh, Mike and Molly, I watched every episode of Mike and Molly. It's, I think it's still streaming on Max. Mike and Molly was fantastic. And I love Melissa McCarthy on that. So, uh, and she was hilarious in Bridesmaids. 
And so I was excited. I was like, oh, OK. Um, I was excited when they said they were doing Ghostbusters. I was like, oh, and they, they kept saying from the team that brought you bridesmaids. So they know they had a huge hit with bridesmaids and they're letting everybody know, hey, did you like bridesmaids? You're going to love the new Ghostbusters. I was like, hell yeah, bridesmaids is funny. So I watched Ghostbusters and I was like, oh my God, this is the worst shit. This is terrible. This is so, this is, this is Charles Barkley terrible. This is so bad. So it was so bad. And I was like, damn, oh, just, oh man. It's, it's like when you go, go to the cookout and, 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 uh, that, that uncle, you barely see, he, he tries to touch you inappropriately. That's how I felt. That's how I felt when I watched Ghostbusters. And I can assure you that, uh, whether I vote for Donald Trump or or Hillary or Kamala Harris or anybody else, that has n my political leanings have absolutely nothing to do with whether I thought Ghostbusters was a good or bad movie. That's ridiculous. And that's not taking accountability for Maybe you had the jokes weren't very funny. And they even uh, what was it? Leslie Jones. She because she was well, she it was a couple years ago. She had a book out. She she wrote a book. I think it was in 2019 or so. And she talks because Leslie Jones is from Memphis. I'm here in Tennessee. Leslie Jones is from Memphis. And she kind of talked about the fact that, you know, you know, they used her. They made some jokes about her appearance, which is what they always do. Um, you watch her career on Saturday Night Live. They would always put her in the situation of because she's super tall and her face is not uh, what we would call a traditional beauty. So they kind of do these jokes where they kind of put her in in like man. She's the manly woman. She knows this. Like, say, go check her book out. And uh, she knows that she's talked and, and she's done interviews where she talks about the type of comedy she does and stuff. Um, she used she was mocked for her physical appearance and then she used it to make millions of dollars. <laughs> it's what well, it that one that one scene that they showed in the Ghostbusters trailer where she dove off the stage and the people were supposed to catch her and they saw her and they all got out the way and let her hit the ground. And she was like. Wait a minute, was this racism or you just wasn't, you know, the whole thing was funny. Um, I thought that, I'm not saying Ghostbusters didn't have any, for, but it, it only had for like an hour and and uh, almost two hour movie, it didn't have a lot. It, there was, yeah, you could have made like a 10, 10 minute uh, Saturday Night Live sketch and it would have been a lot uh, better received in my personal opinion. But that's just me. I thought, like I said, uh, go read the article on Variety or go check out uh, Paul Feig's interview with The Guardian. You can get some more context on that. But like I said, I think this is someone, um, whether you like Trump or not, I think I, I have a feeling that a lot of Hillary supporters also did not like Ghostbusters. That's just my personal opinion. But get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. We're on the road to 3,000. I need you. I want your Facebook, Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads. All at Akari Press. Type in AkariPress.com. It will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. I've got the link to that and my Gumroad in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.